Thank you for clicking on the video. What is up gamers? I can't believe it's finally happening. Look at this character go. If you don't understand the lore implications between me playing this character, I'll explain really quickly. Uh, someone's been asking me to play them for literally 200 days straight. Mad respect to them. So here we go. We're finally doing it. This is Golem. Not Gollum. Golem. Not the other one. This guy's a fiend folio character and he starts with a bunch of different rocks. If we drop on the ground, I'm gonna see what they do. They're rolling rocks. Speed up after clearing a room without taking damage. Gotcha. And this one, the other one, is it just can be grinded for free. So what does this mean? Well, obviously, I haven't even explained this entire ordeal that I'm at. Uh, this is the London Underground. Golem likes to frequent this place pretty often. There's different machines. There's a grinding machine for money, which can uh, turn a rock trinket that we have, which we can switch right here, into a different one, which is why one of these says that you can grind them for free. A crush machine, which generally gives health. And I believe if you blow this guy up, you just kind of get a rock trinket. Hey, there's one. Sandstone chest to fire a high damage rock that inflicts confusion and shrinks over time. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So which one was the one that can be ground for free? And then give it over. Grind it up. That seems pretty good, whatever it is. Massive Amethyst. Shopkeepers and secret rooms are replaced by rune clusters. Oh my goodness. Blowing up a rune cluster can give you some rune stuff. That seems stupid strong. And then what I would like to try is crushing this guy and giving maybe some hearts because there you go. Uh, Golem's hearts don't seem too high. Let's run with the rune and sandstone build. So it's kind of how the entire character works. You just go crazy, try and find some rock trinkets and uh, make them your own. It looks like the sandstone trinkets are really strong because it seems like basically an opportunity and a chance to shoot a giant proptosis, which is sick. Chance seems pretty high as well. Like it's proccing a lot here. Okay, treasure room above us. Let's get started because shadows, I like that. You'll see there's another London Underground transportation entrance here. Uh, and that's just because this is how Golem likes to get around, you know what I'm saying? So we've unlocked the treasure room, so now we can just uh, go wherever you want. There's an entrance for the secret room. When you unlock it, you can come back. Now, I must admit, I'm playing Fiend Folio, so I have to focus up. I can't go crazy here. Because these are tough enemies, and they could take me off guard. I don't know what any of these guys do. That's a haunted chest. You cannot fool me. I know you are. There you are. He almost tagged me too. Always happy to play a bit of Fiend Foley here and there. Massive respect for the mod. It's literally humongous in size and quality. Golem base stats start with basically everything that's base, except uh, lower speed by 0.15 and I think lower range by 0.50. Doesn't everyone start with 6.50 range or am I making that up in my mind? Oh, also less luck as well. Kind of an unlucky lad, but it's okay. We'll use our free Book of Shadows in this boss because we have a charged key. And that is the coolest looking sprite ever. What? Uh, and the hot fight should be easy. Oh my god, Jesus. When bro gets hit, he tanks it. Whoa, hot moment. <laughs> Dude, I swear whenever haunt gets inflicted with like concussive or fear or just any tear effect, he immediately becomes the hardest boss in the Binding of Isaac. Bro is beyond unpredictable. Ow. Closing out the fight though, I do like our sandstone trinket, but what is that? Let me take this HP up first. The hailstone is enemies close by the player are slowed and frozen on death. How about I take advantage of my rune that I have? I didn't even use the Book of Shadows, by the way. Maybe I can find a secret room and blow up that guy that, that says it's gonna happen. Or maybe that only affects you if you start the floor with the trinket. I don't know, we'll see. How about this? Honestly, the, the trinket in the boss room seems really cool. I'm just gonna grind this for some health. And then we can just fast travel back because this game is pretty epic and Fiend Folio is based. Okay, downpour one, high deal chance. Gotta enter here, I believe, to make sure that you have subway access. That, um, you're new. You are offering a flat file, I think, for two and a half hearts. I feel like I can come back to you, no? Like, I don't have to do this right now. I'm coming back. I hope you don't disappear, because I don't want to give away those hearts just yet. In fact, we can double check. Hold on, are you gonna stay there? Or are you gonna be weird? Okay, he's not gonna be weird. Uh, well, I'll see you later. I gotta go get my wallet, sorry, my bad. Oh, okay. Well, I'm very happy I got this trinket, dude. Anything that's close to me just gets frozen and dies and gives Icicle effect. Literally one of the best tier effects in Isaac. Oh, okay. Hailstone's going up in the tier list IMO. This thing's nasty, dude. Boom. Nice. All right, let's take care of this boss then. Nice. I did skip the phase. What in the hell is that? A tinted heart. Okay, hold on. Let me take the damage off. That's guaranteed. Do I want the devil? I feel like no. 
What are you? Chance to drop red hearts when taking damage. Drop soul hearts instead with explosive damage. Do I care about this more than what I currently have? I feel like the sandstone is solid. Chance to drop red hearts on damage is okay. I think what I'd rather do is enter the London Underground and give that beggar guy those hearts he wanted. Here you go, dude. What do you want? What is he doing to me? Oh, I like it. Okay, so if you didn't understand, uh, basically he chiseled me down and now I gulped that trinket. So I can't take this tinted heart with me. So you pay hearts in order to gulp your trinkets. I was gonna say, it feels weird that we're just constantly switching out trinkets and there's no way to have them guaranteed. But, uh, you know, that solves my issue. So that makes sense. Another treasure! Luigi! Don't, 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 Let me just activate this treasure room thing real quick. I saw a machine back here. What in the hoo-ha are you? Wimpy bro. Hey, don't call Luigi wimpy, dude. Luigi's the man. Slammer familiar that jumps on and crushes enemies. That's new, so I probably want to take that. But what I'm curious about is what is this? It seems to be asking me for a bomb. Maybe it'll blow up everything in the vicinity. Or is it just like a gotcha? Got it. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm gonna take the, the wimpy bro for now. There you are. Oh, he's just, oh, I see. He's literally the wimpy bro. So I've paid bombs to get a D12 roll. I got ore penny here. Chance to gain extra cent with picking up coins. Isn't that literally counterfeit penny? Chance to replace rocks with fool's gold. So this is better counterfeit penny. I don't think I can gulp the thing that I have so far. I don't have enough soul hearts to make that guy do his thing that he's supposed to do. What about this? A wisp coin, I suppose? Good to know. Uh, if I can find another half a soul heart, we'll be able to grab this. And then we'll be really, really happy because we'll be able to gulp some stuff. But for now, I think we just move on. I guess I could also roll. Maybe I'll roll it, because I haven't done the roll thing yet. I want to see what it's about. Grind it, please. Focus crystal. Okay, risk of rain reference. I see you. Increase damage to enemies when close to them, basically. I see, when you're in this uh, kind of vicinity of them. Please give me a soul heart. Cool. Oh my god, the perfect amount, actually. Then I'll take the ore penny. Then I can smelt this, probably the ore penny. It seems better for me overall. Chisel me down, brother. Thank you. And then final thing to do is I want to check out the shop. It could have another soul heart and I can chisel that down and gulp it officially. It seems like a really good floor for me. Only down for one. Seems like a very in-depth type character. I'm enjoying what I'm playing so far. What is that? Swallowed Geode. Spawn a penny when damaged. While holding another geode, gain a chance to spawn a doubled penny. So there's different types of rock trinkets. Okay, cool. Well, no reason not to take it. And then uh, I'll go. Whoa. Where in the hell am I? These are such new rocks. I'm learning so much, dude. Fiendfoli is crazy. Glass Azurite Spin Down. Oh my god, like seven different prefixes. <laughs> Activates Azurite Spin Down effect, which I don't even know what that does. Rolling all trinkets. Well, thank you for telling me. In the room by subtracting their internal ID number by one. For anyone that didn't understand the glass azurite thing, by the way, it's right there. Minus one for trinkets. It just goes trinket ID. Uh, this is a super duper cool room. The obvious choice is probably take this key and then spend it right here. And then we might be able to get ultra secret room here if I play my cards right. I cannot believe this floor is still going, by the way. We are 15 minutes in downpour one. This character is in depth as hell. There you go, got the ultra secret first try. Wimpy jumping baby went nasty. I'm telling you, Luigi is the man. And I'm rewarded with bloody lust, which I'll just take. Okay, now we're good to go for real. So I do want to enter the London Underground right away, just so I have it unlocked. I'm thinking I might just grind up this geode. Don't get me wrong, I, I like it. Oh, by the way, this guy, I think you just blow up and get a trinket. Uh, but I kind of already have a money trinket. And I haven't really been grinding things down, so I want to experiment with that. What is this? Oddly smooth stone. Start eating each combat with one dexterity, hearts heal for one more. Oh, I guess that's good if you have red hearts, but I don't care about that too much. I'm just gonna do this. I, I also want to see how much money does it take? Five cents? Three cents! I, I guess five, so I'm glad I did that. I learned. Charms female enemies. Occasionally fire freezing tears. Well, we kind of already have freezing. Another roll, I think. Goodbye. That looks like tarot cloth, but there's a guy walking inside of it. Quick geode, another geode. Boost speed to 1.75 in cleared rooms. And then plus 10 speed if holding another geode. So this is good if you're backtracking. I, I, I just want to keep going. I'm sorry, I'm just having fun. I'm learning all of this stuff. Final one, maybe? Technological geode. Oh, this is going to be sick. 
Fire short range technology 2 beam that deals 30% of your damage. If holding another geode, fire 2 parallel beams instead. Now this is the type of uh, trinket where I'd be like, okay, I want another geode. Couple more things to do on this floor treasure room to my right. Oh my god. Do you risk that blind? Or the reverse card. This is actually a really important play. But since there are new items I may have not seen, I think they're more hype, so I'm gonna go for this instead. Mom's pad. Have you ever regretted something faster in your life? I doubt it. I can't believe it. What are these things doing? I don't know. I'm scared. I have mantle. I don't want to die. Okay, they're just looking at me, I guess. Mario 64 type B. <laughs> I wanted to go here because I figured it'd be a good ultra secret spot. Wow, you suck. I hate you. Uh, and it would also give me boss challenge room, which was uh, a lot better. Nice. Blub. Oh, maybe I should have done this with Book of Shadows. <laughs> just, just don't jump. Whatever you do, don't jump. Yeah, there you go. I think we're good. I think I'm fine. Angel? Oh my god, me not getting hit actually paid off HP. I need it. And here's Sensor. Bad. I'll take it. It's cool. Do I want a mom's... Do I want a key piece? Sure. I also have a Book of Shadows, so I'm not afraid of fighting him. I'm just gonna, you know, AFK here for a second. <laughs> Alright, now that that's over, we'll take this. And I saw a trinket here. Periodically tosses a rock at the nearest enemy in a short distance. See, that seems cool. And now I really want that. How about I use it on the mirror dimension just to see what it does? I need to learn stuff about the new trinkets. Like, you know, are they doing enough damage? Is this good? Is this bad? I'm not going to learn unless I try them out. If it works like IBS, I'll probably hate it though. One thing to note is it seems like mainly you need soul hearts in order to gulp and chisel down your trinkets into your own actual character. Uh, and that's important to note because in Fiend Folio, I don't know what the tinted rocks look like. <laughs> They're more like tinted wooden boxes to me. They're probably really easy to see for people that actually play Fiend Folio consistently. Uh, but for me, not so much. I'll keep my eye out though. Uh, the throwing rock occasionally seems fairly strong, but I think I prefer the fear crystal just because it works so well with my uh, tech geode. If I had a way to gulp it, I totally would though. Or is this more damage? No, 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 I don't think that was more damage. Seems like every single time you find a boss and beat them and also find a secret room, you always get a rock trinket. We'll keep that in mind. Golem's orb. I found my orb to ponder. It's real. Oh my god. Shot speed, speed up, luck up. This basically fixes everything wrong with this character on startup. Plus two soul hearts, letting you kind of gulp if you have the ability to. Which we don't on this floor, but maybe on the next one. I really like that item to find in the boss challenge room. I like the way that it's designed and it feels good to find as Golem. You know... I can see why they gave Golem a subway system. <laughs> My man is slow with the gameplay, but for good reason, because this stuff is really fun. There you go, we wanted you. I wanted to gulp something. Let's gulp this focus crystal, it's kind of fun. Please don't like kill me because I'm the lost, that would be so dumb. <laughs> Could you imagine like he just hits me and I just die? Whoa, Isaac, but they have items, what? That was sick, I'm gonna die. There's a giant grimace, it's Gideon too. He's real. Get me out of here. What the hell is that room? <laughs> that was the worst room ever. Oh my god. I I can't believe it. That room was so terrible. I want to go back though. Ow. Hierophant will use to get two soul hearts back. I can gulp another trinket. Moon to TPS out. And what is that? Another geode. A luck percent chance to fire a slowing tier. Slowing tiers leave large puddles of quite creep if you're holding another geode. Uh, basically just spider bite. Yeah, I'll take it. Well, to be fair, I have a Book of Shadows, so this is a free boss fight. Hey, it's a Fiend Folio boss, Batty. I like fighting Batty. Challenging boss, but not too hard. Wonderful, Batty's done. Another HP, and this seems like some kind of talisman. No, it's actually just the Hearthstone. Activates a random positive effect when using a card. Okay, cool. That just seems like a solid thing to have. I should uh, use this to fast travel, I feel. At least back to the secret room. Exciting treasure room today. $3 bill. I think this will work perfectly with our technological geode. Green fight super easy. Steam sale is nice. We got double soy milk dudes, but they're done for. Sack room and a boss challenge room. Uh, I think we're just good to go. Petrified poop I definitely don't need. Yeah, I feel like this is a productive floor. Oh well, let's go. Maybe the uh, the pig chisel guy appears every other floor because I'm noticing a pattern there. If he shows up here, I'm going to assume that's the case. Hello? Nope, maybe it's just RNG. What is this? I always want to see what the new one is. 
This is Rebar Rock. 25% chance to block red heart damage. Red heart damage is always half a heart. That seems stupid strong, like genuinely. Honestly, all of these are, jeez. Passive prevent red heart damage is like kind of nuts though. More than like a positive effect. Cause I don't even know what positive effect implies. I mean, it could be a tears up. It could be spawn ascent on the ground, you know? A bit low HP, but I'm still gonna risk this book of shadows. Hello? I feel like that's like a battery, but it hurts me and I don't want to. Oh, I don't know. Like, what, what did it do to me? <laughs> what did it do to me? I don't know. I okay. Thank you for the not killing me part of that. Shop here. These are both really good. I take both. Most definitely red stew, fanny pack. I want to use this. Range down. That sucks. Uh, oh well, I guess. And you know what? For the first time in forever, this is not a Disney reference. I will be donating. All right, finally, hug you. Okay, sure, hurry up, I gotta go. <laughs> uh, Nancy Bombs, there, whatever. Well, I'd say our build is average, and I would say we would usually be struggling, except for the fact that, why am I eyes so cursed? Except for the fact that we have Book of Shadows, which honestly will make this entire thing trivial. Way too strong of an item, but don't tell Edmund, I don't want him nerfing it. When 2024 update comes out, I'm just not a fan of that idea. Another HP, are they just guaranteed to have HP and a trinket? Cause God. <laughs> Periodically, gives the player Ipecac for one shot. Oh my, I kind of want to do that, dude. That sounds really fun. And then we're going to go down. Is Pigman here? Okay, I know I said I like the Ipecac thing, but I might just give it away and crush it for a soul heart. Uh, you can have this. And then I'll take that. And then I'll eat this. Wonderful. Now, let's go find some more stuff. So what do we have in here? Oh, that's good. Steam Cell also popping off. Reverse Temperance is interesting. Soul heart in that shop, so maybe we can do something here. Here we go. Is this an item? I think this is an item. And this is a trinket, but it's a fossil. Pyromancy is orbital fireballs periodically spawn around the player up to three. Double tap shoot the button to shoot out the fireball, leaving a trail of flames. Sick, I like that. And we have a fossil. It's like uh, the left hand, but fossilized. All chests get replaced with the red chest like the left hand, but it spawns a red chest when crushed. Oh, it's literally just the- okay, alright, well, I'm gonna crush it. <laughs> alright, well, let's just crush this for fun, just because it has a unique effect when being crushed. Red chest. We also get the soul hearts. I thought it would be just an individual thing, but we get both benefits. That's sick. Uh, and we gotta go find some more because we are lackluster. Half a soul heart to go in here? I'll do it. Ooh, hi. Uh, oh my god, this is kind of scary. A bunch of money, too. Sticky nickels, are you kidding me? I think we do something like this, and then instead of using my Book of Shadows to get out, I just use it to commit to the Devil Beggar. Do this instead. Could be more fun. Five and then six, you pay out. Nice. Nothing concrete, just a little green guy. Not here either. I'm gonna keep going, I think. Dude, Golem gets hit when he gets hit. <laughs> Like, he takes damage. We get Potato Peeler. Ah, it's okay. What does the Vomit Gremlin do? Fire arc explosive shots at nearby enemies. Also works when dropped. What? Just like when it's on the ground? That's sick. I want to see... I, I don't think I'm going to keep it, but I want to see what happens when I just drop it on the ground and do its thing. Because that, that seems funny. I, I, I want to participate in that. Oh, I see. It's on my head. Okay, so if I drop it here, it's literally just going to act like a Grimace. That is adorable. Should I keep it? I kind of want to keep it, dude. It could so easily kill me though, but ah, eh, whatever. Golden keys for the floor. It gives me D20 for the map. I'm just going to touch it. What the heck are you? I use a key to unlock the shop or something? Boom. Oh my god, I did. That was so cool. What? That was awesome! <laughs> that was literally sick. Give me this rocket in a jar. He smiled a little bit when I bought from him. An actual pop-up shop. That That is so sick. I'm gonna use these fireballs finally. I, it said double tap. There you go. Wow, that was sick. Another one. Boom. Boom. One final one. Boom. Okay, I love the fireballs. That is awesome. Do I want base damage up? I think I will. This one's interesting. Thorny rock spawn a radial shockwave when damaged. I don't have the ability to not take it, so sure. Angel! Uh, tears up we need, plus an eternal heart would be sick. And then we can fight you, just because maybe we'll get some more stuff. You know, maybe like more angel runes or something. Take you and then leave. Yeah, this was honestly a sick floor for us. Oh, so cool as well. Golem has the unique ability to just always leave the mom fight no matter what. You don't need the full card. Scarred Womb 1. What I wouldn't give for me to just like walk into here and then just go straight to the boss. <laughs> uh, another freebie trinket. It looks like you can, but I, I really can't. Guarded Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl. Chance to gain a shield on damage that lasts for a room on blocks one hit. 
Uh, is it just like randomly? Like just a chance to do it, I guess? When blocked, it knocks enemies back nearby. How about instead I go full on goodbye to you because you seem kind of boring. And then I just uh, roll this constantly. I mean, I have the money. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Fire steers at nearby enemies. Okay, I feel like I have- Oh my god, they stack up on each other! Oh, there's- this is awesome. I'm keeping this forever. Really clean fight. Is that the eraser? No, it's a soapstone. There's all projectiles on room clear and when taking damage. Oh, it's basically the eraser, but on hit. Spawn several bubbles upon taking damage. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of running the best build ever with two complete dudes on my head. Listen, I know I give grimaces some crap because that's just my own skill issue. I can't dodge them, but I will say that this is pretty dope. Angel! Oh! Oh my god, listen, I'm sorry, but it's Godhead. <laughs> what is this though? Chaldean Axe. Periodically fire a piercing axe towards the closest enemies. The axe boomerang back shortly after launch. That sounds so cool, uh, but this is Godhead. <laughs> uh, I'll check out what it does later though. Most definitely, don't worry about that. Okay, let's go. Boom, look at that. I got a planetarium. It actually isn't that rare, but whatever. Apparently I shoot an axe at someone. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. What the hell was that? Nah, that's actually dope, <laughs> dude, what? Did you know that if you beat It Lives under one hour, you actually hit the super duper extra special boss called Binding of Isaac 2? It's only for real dead god gamers, so that's why I don't have it. <laughs> Unfortunately, my files are corrupted, so everything I've ever done in the Binding of Isaac is officially null. It's over for you, boy. Okay, It Lives done. Brick rock that's literally just a brick that I might throw at someone. Firing Tears throws a 15 damage brick. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that drops on the floor afterwards. Okay, well, I'm gonna gulp this as well. Gimme gimme. And then we took negative, so I'd like to go down to Shoal and complete the run fully. Put you on my head, goodbye. Well, we got our Satan fight. This should be fairly simple, I think. As long as I count in my head to about 4, then press E, I think we'll be uh, pretty good. Third phase, I think I'm gonna press spacebar and just turn off my brain, because uh, third phase tends to hit me the most. Explosive leeches are crazy, man. Don't underestimate them, I swear. What are you? Rock worm? Oh my god, it's a worm trinket. I need it. Grants a random worm trinket effect at the start of the floor for the duration of the floor. Ooh, I kind of want that. <laughs> Let me see if I can find like soul hearts or something. Because I have the opportunity. I, I believe I have a chisel guy available. I just don't have the soul hearts. Oh, you know what? I didn't actually even have the pig guy, so it wouldn't have mattered. Never mind. Still feels kind of wrong to say goodbye to a worm trinket, but yeah, bye, dude. Okay, dark room is here. This is a big moment. Mega Satan also unlocked. Boom, boom. Ah, I don't want to play with Judas. I got Golem, dude. Another one. That's new. And you. Uh, that's also pretty okay. I saw this was quality three. Luck affected chance to shoot crit tears that deal quintuple damage. Like actually just like straight up TF2 crits. Is this supposed to be critical? I don't know. Maybe I'm just speaking out of my ass. Roll these. Chaos. Okay, definitely. Kinda egg, I assume is this kinder egg. Spawns a random object. Okay, cool. Object, top hat, summon an opened shop chest. Got you. This also gives me little minx. What a play am I making? Menace familiar that charges at enemies. Double tap shoot to make them do th a thingy. Okay. Yeah, sure, why not? And then I'll take chaos. And then I'll take the mom's razor because it puts my health lower and it's more fun. Final thing is hollow fossil, a fat damage up. Guarantees a deal room and a black heart instead of a soul heart when crushed. Ah, well, uh, ugh. <laughs> about that. <laughs> Do I give up the double grimace for that? I mean, I definitely want to. If I give one of my grimaces away, I'll get a soul heart. I could probably gulp it, but maybe I could just find a soul heart naturally. What is this? I'm leaving. What is this? I'm entering. <laughs> Where am I is- what is this? This seems like a sequence. Like I'm gonna pick this up and like a whole like Indiana Jones thing is gonna happen. I don't care. That's touch. I need it. Or is it- it's just a freebie? Like I just get to have it? Maybe I can- hold on. Bomb? Hold on, hold on. This is a breakable rock. Secret. Uh, definitely not the case. There's another way to enter though. What's- what's your secret? What are the secrets that lie here? I know there's something. Oh man, I know there's something, dude. There's probably a different way to enter. That wouldn't make sense though, because for Isaac Engine, it always leads you to the same crawl space. But then again, Fiend Folio devs are insane. They probably made a way for you to have multiple different crawl space entrances. Oh well, there's the giant crit. That felt awesome. Let's just walk in the dark room and just wail on this lamb, I think. Don't forget to double tap to use my familiars, get some crits in. 
use the fireballs, etc, etc. All good, it is over, goodbye. No victory lap for me. Twin Tufts is a chance to turn pickups into their doubled equivalent and a chance to double rewards. That's pretty cool, but it ain't two rocks on top of your head. Anything to help out on this boss fight is good for me. I guess I could also maybe like read nabs. I'm just gonna crush it. <laughs> Two extra so hard, some extra blue flies will take the Grimace head, the vomit one. And I think we demolish Mega Satan pretty easy here. Now we do want to get up close, because you can't forget the extra multiplier on damage that we have when up close to enemies. We also have crits available, we have double shot abilities available. We got kind of everything popping off. A ton of tier effects that I have to constantly manage because I'm just forgetting all of them. But it is just a sick time overall. Envy's gonna die, die, dude. All these mini bosses are done for. Angel 1 done, Angel 2 done. Oh my god, what was that giant blast, dude? <laughs> I was like sad bombs, but I just like shot it for some reason. And then for this final one, we'll respawn all our wisps. Pop book of shadow spam bombs and just go crazy. I can't believe after 200 days, I finally did it. I played Golem. And you know what? I'll say it, I had a good time, okay? You can rest easy now, soldier. Just kidding, there's even more to do. Why are there trinkets up there? I'll never be able to get them. Let me fight the Lyrium real quick. Oh, hey, here you are. All right, let's go. You and me, I'm gonna literally shred you. I could realistically die here, 100%, but I'm not too worried because I have one up. And most of my hearts are HP anyway, red health. So I think I just go full on, just try and kill him. Speed is pretty good. Enough for the Delirium fight, most definitely. Damage is, of course, stupid good. I don't get that many crits, but whenever I do, it sure does hit. You know, it feels weird going back to the current version of Isaac because the Delirium version on the online beta version of Isaac is just completely different. Like, these bullets look so different. The beta version of the Delirium bullets looks so much better and easier to see. Like a pseudo Delirium rework with that one. Now I'm just looking at, like, white circles all over my screen. You know, I'm gonna say it, I feel like Sensor's an underrated hero for Delirium fight. Delirium really hits you whenever they're close, so Sentry just comes in clutch, and I think that'll basically be it. Yeah, GG, dude. A two-hit Delirium is really solid, and I feel like I really grew as a human because I ended up uh, truly liking having three Grimaces on my head, which I would have never thought I would have liked. This was awesome. Uh, GG's, guys. Thanks for recommending Golem for like 200 days.